of movies. And who better to interview the number one star today, Rosebud. So now we are live at her exclusive 40 room mansion for a live interview. Rose, how are you doing? I'm fine. How Lovely you? for you to be on our show. We really wanted you to come. Oh, well, it's an honor. Thank you. Uh, what can I say? You're a star. Uh, you're currently starring in Down Under with <laughs> with Mel <Milk> Gibson. <laughs> It is a funny movie. I saw the, <laughs> yeah, the rough was, cut of it. Yeah, recently. yeah. It's, it's I'm sorry. Out. It's just um, uh, my friends told me a joke about this, and um, I, I'm really sorry, Rose. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. Um, I'm very sorry. You, uh, what is it like to be in a movie with Mel Gibson and Sigourney Weaver? Well, they're both a lot of fun. Of course, uh, very professional. You know, Mel has done Hamlet recently. Oh, yes. And most people think of him as a a hunk-type movie star, but oh, he's yeah. very serious about his work. <laughs> interesting. Mm -hmm. So, um, you have a long line of um, acting and singing in your family. Your mother sang in the opera. Your father had a comedy show. Yes, your grand, a yes, your variety grand variety show in the in the early nineteen fifties. Yeah. Your the, your grandfather was um, silent film director, and your mother, your grandmother, uh, his wife, was in silent movies, and that's where he found her. So mm -hmm. I think that's that's very interesting. And now you are c c can, uh, carrying on the tradition. How do you, how do you think television has changed since your grandfather? Produced movies. How do you think? Of if you were your grandmother, the, how do you how do you think? Well, she did? didn't get to say anything. She just <laughs> yeah. She I, yeah. When you were in trouble, uh, grandma never had to say anything. It all showed in her face. I guess it came from her acting. Experience. Yeah. But of course, uh, today you have to be able to speak clearly. Yeah. And um, my father's show back in the early '50s was live, and when we make movies. We have a script, and if we don't get it right, they yell cut, and if we have to do it 30 more times, we do it. <laughs> if we yeah, have to do so it the rest of the day. But in live television, a lot of times things did go wrong. One time his um, suspenders broke, and my father's pants fell. Oh, my he stood there in his boxer shorts, and everybody <laughs> thought that was part of the show, but it wasn't. But luckily, that yes, I, I know what me. you mean. Like, like that little joke I heard. Yeah, it's very. You have to tell me that afterwards. Oh, yeah. yes, I, I don't want to say that. Yeah. No. Um. Uh, what more really is there to say? You are right now engaged. Oh yes, definitely. I, I'm not going to say who it is because he's. Also yeah, it's, it's all over the tabloids. The mystery mm. man. No one knows. No one knows, and they won't know until we're married. Because a lot of rumors go around. You were uh, you you were born in a small town in Virginia. Mm -hmm. What was life like for you when you were young? Were you when you were young? Did you act? You know, did your friends make fun of you because of your acting? Well, the reason that we lived in Virginia is because my father didn't want well, me and my and my two brothers. <coughs> the reasons that my father wanted us to live in a small town was he didn't want us to grow up in Hollywood. He wanted us to be normal kids, even though he had grown up in the entertainment business, uh, or maybe because of that, he thought that it would be healthier for us to live a normal life. I don't know how normal we are, yeah. but yes. Um, tried. Your house, you have wonderful taste, you have uh, an outdoor swimming pool and an indoor swimming pool. Mm -hmm. This is the house where Clark Gable used to live. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it? Oh uh, well. Uh, a lot of interesting things have gone on here, but um, we probably will be moving to a bigger house. Oh, well, it doesn't yeah, get much know, bigger. We have to get one with a security system because there's so many weird people out there. We get all kinds of fan mail. Um, you also have been in the movie Ghostbusters. I understand you were in the uh, you in the crowd. Me. Yes. <laughs> no, that's when I when I first got a part. That was years ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Doesn't matter when they're having a party. You have a very strange staff. <laughs> Actually, that is my fiance, your cameraman. I, you get an exclusive break on your show. I'm finally saying, yes, that is my fiance. Really? <laughs> You're marrying this man? Yes. He's already he was, married. No, he's he, already married. He's not. He's, he's in the business, I said. He's a cameraman. He's your cameraman. <laughs> understand that your hair is a wig. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. We are fake in Hollywood, okay? We don't really look like this. You've ruined my career. <laughs> That's right. Rags too rigid. <laughs> All because of this wig. This wig made Rose Bud. And I'm famous. actually a man. <laughs> So it goes with another exciting episode of Monique. As Monique says, Goodbye, have a pleasant tomorrow. As we thought Daryl and Hannah had long. Come in. I hope I'm not intruding. Not at all, Captain. But Zarek is it. We all been having a good time. You been here all weekend? All weekend. Did you go home last night or did you sleep in your cars? I saw some of you sleeping in your cars. Raise your hands. <laughs> this is the Pritchard Park stage. It's sponsored by Miller Beer. Miller Beer and Kiss this afternoon, Kiss radio station, are giving away this mini car up here. And there's a box down there we'd like for you to register. Win that for yourself or your kid or your Aunt Jane. Um, if you haven't been here before today, the token booths are the ones with the green tent on them. You can buy tokens down there for 50 cents, get all the food and drink you want. We have a Bell Share souvenir booth. It's down here with a yellow and white tarp on it. So if you want to get your souvenirs from Bell Share, today will be the last day you can get them at the festival. But you can get them from some of the merchants, I think, for about a month after the festival. We got a lot of music coming up here today on this stage. Uh, we're going to start off here in just a few minutes with Destiny. They're in Asheville, Asheville band. I'm sure many of you have heard them uh, down at the Nashville Club. They play uh, country rock and top 40, so we're going to be starting off right with them. And then we've got Rattlesnakes at 2 o'clock, and that's uh, some killer rock, I understand. And then we're going to have the Fletcher School of Dance do a show for us on this stage. And... Um, the Canton Fletcher School of Dance, excuse me. And then the last thing to close out this stage, we're going to have Altered States, and it's art college rock, alternative rock. Okay, so stay with us. We'll be with you in a few minutes. And have some fun today. This is it for us. Check, check. Last 
Thank you. 